If that has not inspired you to consider your estimate of giving for next year, 2022, let me just add a couple of more things. Um, all of you who are worshiping with us online should have received through your uh, email newsletter this past week, the annual report. But if you simply take a look at it in its digital form or in the print form, if you have one, you'll discover a thousand reasons uh, why it's good to give to Christ at Clifton United Methodist Church. You know, you can follow the QR code in your bulletin to be able to make an estimate of giving for next year. Um, I have made mine and I make one um, every year. Um, for lots of reasons. Um, but the first is, um, much like what Robert has already said, um, I need to do it or else I become a person that I don't like much and I don't feel um, lovable by God because I become very self-oriented and very sort of insecure about whether I will have enough and living in a scarcity of the world and and not trusting in the abundance of God's love. So it changes me to give. But I also see how it changes the world to give with all of you. As Robert said, this is an us moment. We couldn't support Benji's family, any one of us alone, but together we do and we can. We couldn't have endured 24 years of being the only reconciling United Methodist Church in Cincinnati, mm -hmm. in the greater region, if it were not for one another. And today at five, we can celebrate the chapters. An expansion of Clifton into a whole new reality is going to be a reconciling congregation. Not only that, that three others in our region have come to be reconciling congregations in the past three months. We waited a long time, friends. And yet, those annual gifts of us coming together to be about the work of justice and inclusion makes a difference. And I am mindful of our teenagers had one stop me after church just last week to say I was, I've joined the diversity, equity, inclusion club at school. And they, we had someone there who uh, had the possibility of being a United Methodist minister, but chose not to pursue candidacy because there wasn't an open pathway for a person who was LGBTQ. And so they chose a different pathway. Um, but this student said to the group, I didn't know that, that everybody wasn't accepted uh, because of who they are until I was 10 and because I learned about it from the church. But up until I was 10, I knew that everybody was welcome in the church because in my church, a reconciling church, everybody was always welcome. That's what we're doing. And these are the kinds of changes it makes. And then I'll say one more reason why I give. Um, the pandemic was really hard on my 90 and 91 year old parents. And they love music. And they weren't getting a chance to sing it in their church. They weren't getting a chance to hear it and they tuned in here. And the marvel of Bill Beer, Luke Wiseman, our choir, we gave a gift to the world of how grace falls through wonderful music sung together. So that's why I give I always had more, you know? I always had more to give away. I trust that you have all of your own reasons for yourself, for your family, 
for your community. But I invite you to imagine just what God is going to do through Clifton United Methodist Church in 2022. God has so much more in store for us. And we've got work to do as we go. I invite you to sing the hymn, fill out your pledge form, go follow the QR code. You know the drill. If you don't do it today, you can do it later. But sing, pray, and make your commitments for next year. Thank you.